when I speak to you about avoiding toxic people and toxic relationships on the comments often you ask me what do I mean by toxic well here's a few things that I mean by toxic in case you guys think I'm throwing it around lazily as a currently trendy word to use um, it's not that to me my words are never that to me so here's a few things that I mean that I wrote down the other day to answer this that I had in the comments from you about what do I mean by toxic toxic people um, firstly have a, <laughs> the emotional intelligence of a child which means they have very little self-awareness and they don't understand the difference between treating someone right versus treating them poorly and they don't care secondly they don't understand toxic people don't understand or don't seem to care that their actions um, impact other people so they keep doing the things that are emotionally hurtful because they are unaware or don't care of the damage they are doing by their hurtful behavior toxic people lack integrity and honesty maybe they are prolific um, liars even in little things but prolific liars and often their actions are not in sync with what they say or what they'll say they do they don't do uh, they gaslight you when you challenge them about something they put it back on you as if you're the problem um, so they constantly make you question your reality when really it's their reality that you are questioning toxic people aren't willing to change their behavior even though they clearly know that it's wrong because you've communicated that well to them even though you communicate how they affect you calmly and clearly how they make you feel they don't care they don't edit it they don't change they just carry on as normal they're normal i don't care what you think even though you say it well to them um another mark of toxic people is they don't respect your boundaries whether they be your mental health boundaries or your emotional boundaries or the boundaries around your stuff or your time or your money um or intimacy whatever it may be they don't respect your boundaries this is another mark of what I call on camera sometimes you guys toxic people also toxic people only focus on their needs and they aren't concerned with your needs <laughs> and the way you feel around a person also reveals their toxicity to you maybe when you spend time with them you're reminded of your own wounds and your own bruises and pains that their presence brings up in you that's a mark of being around a toxic person healthy people don't bring that stuff up in you so your body is sending you an alarm signal but you suppress it and ignore the red flags by staying in their presence even though they have the effect on you and when you're out of relationship with toxic people and you're not around them anymore you often become aware of the wounds you needed to address all along but suppressed and didn't um so being part of a relationship with a toxic person is hurting you and often you suppress that and it hits you later when you find the courage to step back or create some space with a boundary and what you mustn't do is is try to reconnect to them toxic people have this way of making you feel bad for disconnecting and sort of plead with you to try again convince you to try again and reconnect don't do that with these people in your life they are bad for you bad for your mental emotional and physical health so there's a few things to chew on <laughs> on what i think are characteristics of a toxic person and if you are one we love you but we need you to change or you will have no longer have this space and place in our lives what do you think of all that? Cheers. Hope that helps.